Some say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and a lot of times you want to eat it and beat it. And when I say beat it, I mean off to work or school. So we've scrambled up five as-seen-on-TV kitchen gadgets to test who makes the quickest breakfast. Don't run out and grab these gizmos yet. Let us time them before you buy them. Let the breakfast showdown begin. First up on our list of breakfast gadgets is the Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. This sturdy little cooker uses a ring assembly where you assemble your sandwich and then cook it up. And we'll be timing all these gadgets to see who makes the fastest breakfast. So we'll start off by adding some cooking spray to all the surfaces and plug in the sandwich maker to preheat it. Start our stopwatch and here we go. I'm gonna try to duplicate that Mick sandwich from that famous Mick restaurant, so I'll start off by slicing an English muffin in half. The preheat light is now lit, so it's time to assemble our sandwich. We'll lift up the assembly ring to expose the bottom heating plate, and that's where we're gonna put the bottom of our English muffin. Then I'm gonna top that with some bacon, followed by some cheese. Then the top half of the ring assembly comes down, and then we crack an egg on there and do a little yokey pokey. And finally top with the top of our English muffin and close the cover. The directions say to cook the sandwich four to five minutes, so I'm gonna let it go about four and a half minutes and then pull the plug on this sucker. Then I'll rotate that cooking plate to get it away from all the goodness inside. Then using an oven mitt, it's time for the big reveal. Looks pretty good. Spatula slide underneath to the plate and stop our stopwatch a little over seven and a half minutes, including preheat, prep, and cool down. Wow, it looks pretty good, but now it's time for the taste test. And yes, this mixed sandwich is delicious. So the Hamilton Beach breakfast sandwich maker did the job in a little over seven and a half minutes. Cleanup is pretty easy as you can just hand wash the ring assembly or throw it in the dishwasher and then just wipe the rest of the sandwich maker down. Oh, and this thing also comes in a double sandwich maker so you could pig out on two or share one with a friend. And it also has a built-in timer. Next up in our showdown is this Made in America Microwave Omelette Maker. Prep, cook, and enjoy. Let's check it out. Popping it out of its cardboard holder reveals a pretty basic hinged gizmo. So let's start our stopwatch and then bust open a couple of eggs in a bowl. And then it's time to whisk them briskly. Then our scrambled up eggs get divided equally in the Microwave Omelette Maker. And off to the microwave they go. Be careful not to spill any. The directions recommend one to two minutes, so I'll go halfway with a minute 30 and fire up the microwave. Time's up. Let's get that omelet and see how it looks. Well, they look pretty good, but no plain omelets for me, so it's time to add a topping, in this case just some cheese, and back in the microwave for the recommended 60 to 90 seconds. And then out it comes. Now turning it into an omelet is magical. You just fold the pan in half and voila, those eggs are together again. Once we scoop them on a plate, we've clocked in a little over five and a half minutes. A little salt and pepper, and then we'll cut that in half and see how it looks. Hey, that looks like an omelet. And it looks like it's cooked through, but how does it taste? First off, no plastic taste like I've experienced in some other gizmos, and it tastes pretty good. Clocking in in a mere 5 minutes and 32 seconds with a quick and easy sink or dishwasher cleanup, the microwave omelet maker takes the lead in our quickest breakfast showdown. Now if you bring home the bacon, you might as well eat it too. And you can do that with our next gadget, simply named Macon Bacon. And as we all know, bacon goes good with everything, including breakfast. Let's open up the packaging on this Made in America product and see what's inside. The Macon Bacon is basically a plastic bin with three T-shaped plastic pieces that fit in holes in the base. And if nothing else, Domino likes to rub on it. So we'll get our slab of bacon and start the stopwatch, and we'll start laying pieces of bacon over each of the T's of the Macon Bacon until it's full. This held almost the entire package of bacon with just two pieces left. And off to the microwave goes our Macon Bacon, which is also covered with a piece of paper towel to prevent splattering. 
The instructions on the box only tell you to cook it to your liking, which kind of leaves it open as to how long to cook the bacon. So I started off with two minutes just to see how it would go. And after that time was up, I took a look and it was not quite to my liking. I like a little on the crispy side. So back in the microwave, this time for four minutes. Still not nearly done enough, so four more minutes in the microwave. When that time was up, it looked done, although it didn't really look crispy, so time to pull it out of there, being careful not to spill any of that grease. The Macon bacon did hold all the grease, which is nice, and it was pretty close to the way I like it, and tasted good too. But at over 11 minutes, that's a long time for waiting on bacon. As you would imagine with plastic, the cleanup is easy and it's dishwasher safe as well. But clocking in at over 11 minutes puts the Macon Bacon in last place for the quickest breakfast showdown. Now it's time for a gizmo that should be in this showdown, the Rapid Egg Cooker. It claims to whip out a healthy breakfast fast, so let's whip it out of the box and see what it's all about. There's quite a few components to the Rapid Egg Cooker, so we'll pull them all out. There's also an instruction manual with recipes inside. This thing seems to be quite versatile as it'll make hard-boiled eggs, an omelet, and poached eggs. It also has a little handy dandy measuring cup for all of those egg options and a little poker on the end if you're going to make hard boiled eggs. Okay, it's time to start the stopwatch and get to work. I'll bust up a couple of eggs and then again briskly whisk them. I'll shoot some cooking spray on that omelet tray and dump the recommended amount of water into the pan. Now we'll put the hard boiled egg holder into the pan because we don't want that tray coming in contact with the pan. Dump our scrambled up eggs into the pan and then lay the pan in place. Then we'll cover it with the top and fire it up. The instructions say this thing is equipped with a precision thermal sensor and will turn off automatically when the water has fully evaporated. So we'll let it do its thing and wait for that buzzer to go off. And when it does, it's loud to let you know it's done and it doesn't stop. So I had to unplug the rabbit egg cooker to get to my omelet. So let's see how these eggs look. Well, it looks like a fluffy omelet. Let's get it out of there. Time's up at 6 minutes 44 seconds. A little salt and pepper seasoning and it's time to dig into this omelet. Cooked? Check. Fluffy? Check. The rabbit egg cooker has done its job making a tasty omelet. Cleanup is simple, just sponging up the remaining water in the pan and washing out the tray in the sink or just tossing it in the dishwasher. And at 6 minutes and 44 seconds, the rabbit egg cooker moves into second place in our breakfast showdown. And finally, our smallest breakfast gizmo is up next. It's the Micro Egg Microwave Cooking Cup. It really couldn't get any more basic than this thing. It's just a small piece of plastic shaped like an egg with a top. Oh, and a small instruction sheet as well. No rocket science involved in this, so we'll start our timer and crack an egg in the cup. And after doing a little yokey pokey, we'll secure the top onto the cup. Then off to the microwave, and we'll set the time at the middle of the recommended range, 45 seconds. About 30 seconds in, I heard a pop and figured the top came off the little egg cooker, and when the time was up, sure enough, that secured top was secured no longer and flew off the egg cup. Well, the egg appears to be cooked, so we'll dump it into a plate and put the stop on our stopwatch. Cutting into it reveals a fully cooked egg. But there's one problem here. After taking a closer look at the imprint on the bottom of this microwave cup, I noticed there is nothing about it not containing BPA, which is a warning sign for me. And this flimsy little plastic had me a little bit worried. So you know what? I didn't even eat this egg. So even though it came in as the winner time-wise, it's a loser in my book and I've got to disqualify it. So after tallying all the times, the fastest breakfast you can make with these gadgets is the Microwave Omelet Maker. I hope you enjoyed this breakfast showdown, and if you'd like to see more of my As Seen on TV tested videos, just click the screen. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.